good morning everyone it is thursday december 10th it's been a few days since i last checked in um still debating if it's a good morning because we started out the day with some bad news i will um show you exactly what i'm talking about i accidentally killed my plant if you see it completely snapped it had a dead leaf this one well it looked like this one that was in the pot and I was trying to pull it out while holding the plant so that it would be steady and the same force that I use with my right hand to pull the leaf out my left hand went in and snapped my girl I know it's just a plant but I feel actually sad about it she had a full seven months of life I got her on my birthday May 9th and today's December 10th, so I just feel really sad because she was actually thriving and I just killed it. So, definitely feeling sad about that. I was already hoping to do a plant haul this month, so I guess I'll just add another one of those to the list and start over. But aside from that, I am actually going to my parents' house today because I have to be with my mom for something and I should be leaving in less than an hour so what i'm gonna do this morning is wrap her present she doesn't watch my videos um, so it's fine that i show you guys myself wrapping the present and i just want to go ahead and get that done because we are also going to be wrapping other gifts that we already have and then i'll show you what it looks like at night before i leave and another thing on the agenda today i believe is that we're going to stop by our hairstylist's salon to drop off her gift we haven't been able to see her for obvious reasons this year so we get her a gift every year and this year is no different we're gonna i think that's what my mom said yesterday she wanted to do is go by there and drop it off so i'll take you guys along for the ride but for now let's go ahead and wrap that present since i am running out of time that's done I think I'm just going to sit around I pretty much finished everything I needed to do for this morning and it turns out that I'm not picking my mom up until 12 15 now so I think I'm just gonna sit here and watch Law and Order SVU because why not I know y'all saw me bumping Christmas and chill Ari because I absolutely love that EP more than honestly a lot of albums I just love Christmas and chill I listen to it when it's not Christmas but it is the season so i'm gonna keep listening to her but i will check in with y'all when the next interesting thing happens hey y'all so i'm at my parents house and i just wanted to show you the christmas tree so this is the tree it looks even better at night which i'll show you guys later but yes yeah, so my mom goes through and puts the lights on manually which i don't know if i'll ever be able to do that it looks so nice definitely more full than my tree but now we're getting ready to go and give my hairstylist Kiera her gift let me show you the packaging for that because it's really really cute so look at this really cute cotton I think it's cotton no it feels more burlap actually bag it's so cute it has the gift in there and I'm thinking that moving forward I mean obviously everyone's trying to be more conscious I think that I would love to do something like this, something that's reusable more than disposing of the gift wrapping paper. But let's go ahead and go give this to her. Okay, we're heading in now to go give her the gift. Man, I can go in. I hope they're not in capacity. Ah, 
y'all she was she had a client so she couldn't get on camera or like talk to the camera but she's really excited and happy about her gift and when i get home i'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the shop because i've been going to kiara since i was 13 years old so yeah 13 years and i just love her and obviously want to support her so i'll be plugging her business when i get home hi hey, y'all it's been like an hour or so since i was at the hair salon to drop off that gift and all i did i went down the street literally two minutes away to go in there get the final christmas gift i was looking for paid had no issues at checkout had no notifications on my phone went home which is a five minute drive from this store took my phone out to see three alerts from my bank that someone tried to buy like three thousand dollars worth of stuff from Wayfair. I have not purchased from Wayfair since like 2018. I didn't even know I still had like an account open with them, much less did I know that my debit card was still attached to the profile. Even if that's the case, you still have to verify the payment with the, is it CVC code? Yeah, so someone had to know that. So yes, now I had to get my, my account was frozen, had to take care of that, have to wait on a new debit card to come in. And I was just like, why, why? Thankfully they have this whole thing with digital wallets now. So it, I'm not out of luck, not to mention, I don't have any bills coming up or anything that needs my debit card, but I just don't like that because I had my debit card memorized. It made my life so much easier. I went through every possible website I could think of, including apps on my phone. My card is not attached to any other account. So that lets you know how much time has passed since I have used Wayfair, since I don't buy from there anymore. But that's just a little bit of how my day is going. But the good, the good news is it's fixed and I just have to wait on the card now. Otherwise, good day, hanging out with my mom, got things done. I'm in the car now because she's inside to pick up an online order from JCPenney. And also, it's 77 degrees today, so it's a nice day. But I'm just irritated, I'm irritated that, that happened. But we will segue into what I wanted to talk to you guys about earlier when I was in the shop. The reason I couldn't talk while I was in the shop is because my hairstylist was playing copyright mus copywritten music, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Beginning of this year, I wrote a blog post called Love Letter to My Hair. I'm sure I've talked about it in my early vlogs this year before, you know, pre-pandemic. And the person that has been taking care of my hair for the last 13 years, as I said, is Kiera. She's an amazing stylist. Her salon is all about trying to emulate a woman's oasis. It's just, they have, it's just such good vibes in there. And she's all about healthy hair and people feeling good about how they look. And I just recommend her anytime she pops up on any of my socials, I'm always gonna plug her because I just love her. She's just done so many amazing things and she has allowed me to go on my natural hair journey in such a comfortable way, a way that fits me, my lifestyle. I could really go on and on about it, but I wrote all about that struggle on that blog post. It will be linked down below if you want to watch it. But just wanted to shout her out since I haven't been able to see her this year. So I guess now I will watch vlogmas videos while I wait for my mom and when we get back to the house we will begin wrapping presents all right we are back and I'm just gonna wrap these couple of gifts really quick so enjoy this time lapse and the stars up above are smiling when Church bells sing along, and the children. 
Just finished wrapping my brother's gift. Um, my brother, I think, sometimes watches my videos, so I'm not gonna say what was in it, but his is done, which is a relief. I honestly just think I've lost my powers with wrapping gifts. I've never struggled to wrap gifts as much as I have today and in general. Like, I've only had to wrap four gifts, and I think that's all I have to wrap for all of Christmas. And I was cutting pieces too short, I was cutting pieces too long, the paper, the tape wouldn't stick, the ribbon wouldn't stay, like I, just, I couldn't get it right. Don't know what that's about, but it's done and the paper gets ripped up anyway, so it doesn't matter. That is it for today. I don't have anything going on in the near future. If anything comes up, of course, of course. I will pick you guys up whenever anything interesting happens. But as for today, we are signing out. So good night. Sunday, December 12th. I believe this officially starts the countdown of 12 days to Christmas. It ends, the 12 days of Christmas ends on Christmas Eve, right? I don't know, but I think it does. And I wanted to check in with you today because we are doing a little festive dinner tonight. I originally had the idea to do a Christmas cocktail and to spice up the garnish, I needed to use rosemary and I don't use rosemary in my day to day. In order for it to not spoil, I thought, what goes with rosemary? Steak. So my boyfriend and I are going to be cooking and making cocktails to share with you on the vlog. I thought it would be something that you guys would enjoy seeing us do, so I will be taking you along with us for that. And that's really all we have left but i'll check in with you when it's dinner time in a couple of hours all right so it's a couple of hours later and we're getting ready to start our steak and potatoes dinner with our festive christmas cocktail called a clausmopolitan when i looked up what a clausmopolitan is it just has the same recipe as a cosmopolitan i think the only thing that makes it santa clausy is that the garnish makes it look a little more festive We'll get to that. This recipe is going to come from, as I mentioned earlier, Ina Garden, also known as the Barefoot Contessa. And the recipe I'm using is called a Duke's Cosmopolitan. It's one that she said when she was over in London, and this one uses lemons instead of the traditional lime. I will link her recipe down below in the description box as well. And typically, of course, you should make the food and then make the cocktail because you want to have them hand in hand. But this is my first time attempting this cocktail, so I don't know exactly how much time it's going to take me. Therefore, I'm going to do it first. So I'm going to get started with the Cosmopolitan first and take you step by step. So we're going to get started with cutting up the lemons. And the recipe calls for four ounces of lemon juice, which is about that much. I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure that two lemons is not going to get it up there. I hope so. But also, does anyone drink a Cosmopolitan to admire the lime or lemon juice? No. So let's get started. So that was a sticky and messy task to find out the inevitable, which is that two lemons barely hit two and a half ounces. But that kind of lets me know I'll just need to trim down the rest of the recipe. But the next step is going to be pouring out the rest of the liquids. All right, y'all. Excuse the top lighting coming down in my kitchen, but I decided to put on my thinking cap 
and instead of rushing to put this drink together, I realize I can just store each of the measurements separately in the fridge because all I have to do is combine them, shake for 30 seconds, and they're ready to serve. See the power of thought. What I'm gonna do now is measure everything out. For the remaining ingredients of a Duke's Cosmopolitan, another ingredient is much different than a traditional Cosmopolitan. A traditional Cosmopolitan usually uses triple sec and sometimes Cointreau, but in the Duke's Cosmopolitan, we're using orange liqueur, or however you say it. I can't say it correctly because I don't speak French, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And since this is the smallest amount that's going to be measured, half a cup, I'm going to store it in the shaker and leave it out because I don't know for sure if this is supposed to be refrigerated. I've never seen it refrigerated, so I figure that's the safest bet. I have my other measuring cup. Like I said, it's half a cup of orange liqueur. If you don't say it with the extra EU, it just sounds like liquor, <laughs> which is what it is, but let's just measure out half a cup. I should probably disclose this because I didn't before. This is a batch of Cosmopolitans. This is not a single serving. So no, you will not be drinking half a cup of this on your own, I hope, unless you roll like that. So I'm gonna store it here in the shaker. Seven ounces of cranberry juice cocktail, not to be confused with regular cranberry juice. Ina emphasized that it needed to be cranberry juice cocktail. I eyeballed that because my measuring cup only has four ounces then jumps to eight ounces. I'm gonna store that in our festive Santa hat because Santa Claus, Cosmopolitans. <laughs> This will be refrigerated, as well as the lemon juice. And our final ingredient is seven ounces of vodka. And this will now go into the other Santa Claus cup that I have. If you watch my Decorate With Me video, you will have already seen these. So that's all the ingredients. Seven ounces of vodka, seven ounces of cranberry juice cocktail, this should be four ounces of lemon juice, but like I said, a traditional cosmopolitan uses lime juice, so if you have limes, which you normally buy in abundance anyway, go ahead and use that. Also, the cranberry juice should level out the sweetness in the drink, so the, the lemon juice, I think, is really just for flavor more than so offsetting the alcohol. And the orange liqueur, which I'm going to switch into another glass, is over here. These three will be refrigerated, and I've decided that the best time to do this, to put this cocktail together, is when the steak is resting. So then I can pour it into the glass, and I'll show you that after we finish cooking. All right, the cocktails are lying in wait, and someone else has joined the party. Come into the stage. We have True Fernie. Thank you for being a friend. Um, I don't think the fans <laughs> asked for a singing performance, but you know, if I had known, I would have practiced, because you know that's my song. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love the Golden Girls, so we talked about No, you need to keep up. I have to keep up. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't made aware that we were going to be harmonizing. Show business. You're right. You gotta stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. But yes, you guys haven't seen him in a couple of videos, but he's gonna be our steak man today. But yes, let's get started, I guess. Okay. You'll be handling steaks. I already cut up my potatoes, and I realized I lied to you guys. I said we'd be doing roasted potatoes, but that's not entirely true. It's air fried potatoes, mm. which apparently there's a difference, even though they taste the same to me. I think we should go ahead and start the food because we're both starving. Yes. So. Woo! Enjoy all these clips of us cooking. Okay, bye. <laughs> Here are my potatoes pre-roast. 
I just use salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. And then some, I drizzle a little bit of olive oil because if you put too much, it sticks to the bottom of the air fryer. Learned my lesson. So let's pop them into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. As Gordon Ramsay says, always drop them away from you. Is there enough room for both? Right. Hot potato. Okay, Grandma. There you go. Reaching straight into the pan with your bare hands. <laughs> so what recipe are you following? I'm following Gordon Ramsay's recipe on YouTube because... Oh. Yeah. Yeah? I was going to say, I'll have it linked down below if anyone wants to follow it. <laughs> um, because it's straightforward, it's no hassle, and I always think that a good steak is all um, about how you cook it and uh, the cut of the meat. Not okay. so much like seasoning or anything like that. I mean, you do need seasoning, obviously. Yeah. And how do you like your steak cooked? Medium rare. Yay. And I like mine medium well. How do you guys like your steak cooked? Let me know down in the comments. And let me get back to the cooking. So as we said earlier, what we're doing right now is focusing on getting a sear, right? Yes. Um, getting a sear and rendering the fat from the side. So that can cook as well. While we wait on the steak, I figured this is a great time to prep the rims for our Cosmopolitan. It's just going to be a sugar rim. I have my sugar ready to go. I'm not going to be fancy and just put the glass flat down and turn it. I'm not going to spread sugar everywhere like that. I'm going to turn the glass according to the plate that it's on. I'm using one of the squeezed lemons from earlier to obviously create that sticky surface for the glasses. And for anyone who doesn't know this, if you ever squeeze lemons, limes, or even oranges, you can save those peels, cut them up finely, and put them down in your garbage disposal to kind of naturally clean it out. And that might be common sense to a lot of people, but it's been a lifesaver since my mom taught me that this year. So, pro tip. It's not the prettiest or most full sugar rim that I've ever done, but quite frankly, I don't actually really love that part of mixed drinks. But I'm looking forward to pouring this in the glass. What's happening now, what's happening now is that I put some Put some uh, rosemary, some garlic, oh. a little bit of rosemary. Uh, this is I won't keep them here too long. Um, rosemary, put some garlic on top. Just to kind of, you can never have too much garlic. Um, and now I'm just gonna put some butter. Yay! That's the fun part, butter. Butter, so I can base it and give it a buttery good taste. are looking delicious and resting which means that it's time to make the cocktail in its entirety here we go now's the fun part we shake for 30 seconds but that will obviously be a time lapse so enjoy that in three two one i want to prep my garnishes before i actually pour it my two sprigs of rosemary and I'm going to attach cranberries to them. Of course, wash your cranberries, but these were frozen and I let them sit out so hopefully the raspberry sprig will go through it. is a cosmopolitan after all. What we're gonna do is 
the remaining strawberries is put them in the drink once they're done. I forgot to capture it on camera. I'll insert right in this area a clip from my phone of me getting it on Instagram, the, the pour. But here are our finished Cosmopolitans with additional cranberries inside of the drink. We haven't tasted it yet, but the food is also done. Potatoes are done, steak is done. Just a festive dinner for two. Thank you so much for cooking and of course, just helping me with everything. Of course, I wanna try the, what's it called? Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Like Santa Claus? Oh, I thought it was Claus. Like, I mean, we could. Because it's feisty. It might be. We haven't tasted it. It could be gross. But thank you for joining us in our cooking adventure. I had a good time. A little stressful because this is our first time doing a video like this. Mm -hmm. So balancing, you know, cooking, recording, all that. But food's going to get cold. So we're going to go ahead and eat. And I'll check in with you before I say goodnight. All right, just wanted to formally sign out for the night. The steak was delicious, potatoes were delicious, the drink was even better. Kind of made me a little sad that we can't, you know, host people because I think this would be a really big hit at a girl's night. But I'm just gonna have another one and call it a night. But I'll check y'all tomorrow. Good night.